In Informatica Developer, you can use an exclusive gateway to make a decision in a workflow. An exclusive gateway splits and merges paths in the workflow based on how the data integration service evaluates expressions in conditional sequence flows. When an exclusive gateway splits the workflow, the data integration service makes a decision to take one of the outgoing branches. When an exclusive gateway merges the workflow, the data integration service waits for one incoming branch to complete before triggering the outgoing branch. In this demo, we want to split the workflow after a mapping task based on whether the task was successful. This mapping task runs a mapping that formats customer data. It then loads the data to a flat file located in a staging area. If the staging mapping task succeeds, then we want to run a dimension load mapping task. This task reads from the staging area. It loads the customer records into a type 1 slowly changing dimension. If the staging mapping task fails, then we want to run a notification task that sends an email. The email notifies the user who started the workflow that the mapping task failed. We'll add an exclusive gateway to split the workflow after the staging mapping task. Then we'll add another exclusive gateway to merge the paths in the workflow. The exclusive gateway decides which path to take based on the value of the is successful output for the staging mapping task. So first, we need to create a workflow variable that captures the is successful task output. We'll select the staging mapping task in the editor and then click the output tab in the properties view. The is successful output contains true or false, indicating whether the task ran successfully. Click the variable column for the is successful output. Select the arrow and then select new variable. We'll enter staging mapping is successful as the variable name and then select boolean as the variable type. Click OK to create the variable. Next we'll add the exclusive gateway that evaluates the value of the variable and then decides which outgoing path to take. In the workflow object palette, select the diamond. Drag it to the editor after the staging mapping task. The exclusive gateway appears in the editor. On the General tab, enter a name for the exclusive gateway. Informatica naming convention guidelines use an eGate prefix. You can also add a description. Let's add a sequence flow to connect the staging mapping task to the exclusive gateway. Then, we'll add an outgoing sequence flow to the dimension load mapping task. And we'll add another outgoing sequence flow to the notification task. Next, we'll create conditions in the outgoing sequence flows to determine which object to run next in the workflow. A condition includes an expression that the data integration service evaluates to true or false. When an expression evaluates to false, the data integration service does not run the connected object. The service evaluates the next conditional sequence flow. When an expression evaluates to true, the data integration service runs the connected object. The service stops evaluating the remaining conditional sequence flows. We'll select the exclusive gateway in the editor, then click the Sequence Flows tab. We can see the two outgoing sequence flows that we added. We want to run the dimension load mapping task only if the staging mapping task succeeds. So let's define a condition on this sequence flow to check if the staging mapping task succeeded. Select the sequence flow that connects to the dimension load mapping task. In the condition column, click the arrow. In the inputs tab, expand the variable folder and double click the staging mapping is successful variable. The developer tool adds the workflow variable using the required syntax for expressions. Type the equality operator and then type true to complete the expression. We'll click validate to verify that the condition is valid. Our condition is valid. Let's click OK to close the condition editor. Next, we'll set the second outgoing sequence flow as the default. A default outgoing sequence flow always evaluates to true. When all other conditional sequence flows evaluate to false, the data integration service runs the object connected to the default outgoing sequence flow. Select the sequence flow that connects to the notification task. Then, click Set as Default.
Notice that the editor displays a diagonal line across the default outgoing sequence flow. Now we need to add the exclusive gateway that merges the branches back into a single flow. We'll select the diamond from the Workflow Object palette and drag it to the editor. The exclusive gateway appears in the editor. On the General tab, enter a name for the exclusive gateway. You can also add a description. Next, we'll add two incoming sequence flows to the merging exclusive gateway. And we'll add a last sequence flow from the merging exclusive gateway to the end event. We need to verify that our workflow is valid. Right-click the editor and select Validate. Our workflow is valid, so we'll save the workflow. That completes this demo. To summarize, we defined a workflow variable to capture the is successful task output, added an exclusive gateway to split the workflow based on the success of the previous task, added another exclusive gateway to merge the branches back into a single flow, validated and saved the workflow. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.